What's up guys, going on? It's your boy here, Ryan. Ryan Beats, how's everybody doing? Today we're doing another screen printing job. This is actually like a print on demand merch for DJ Burrs. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing. So we got the, the garments here already separated. This, this and half of that is one design and the rest is a different design. So I'm gonna show you guys what design we're doing. Let's go ahead and cut the light on. All right, so majority majority of the uh, the print is this one. This is actually like a cable car. I don't know if you guys can see the cable car. This one design. The other design is this one and that one, which is a Twitch um, themed logo. You guys can see that. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So what we're doing is we're gonna be. It's all gonna be white ink. White ink, except for um one of the uh the logo is going to be black there's only one shirt that's going to be black uh the white that we're, we're going to be using is the uh 722 cool white from international coatings okay and the black is we're going to be using the matte black here cool yeah so we got a lot of stuff to gotta take care of i need to get this thing printed and shipped out today if possible and um all right, guys, I know I haven't been um, doing a lot of videos um, lately, especially at the beginning of the year. Uh, just a lot of stuff going on um, personally, so I got to get that taken care of and hashed out before um, I get. I do have a lot of stuff that I want to do. I have a list of things that I want to get to um, this month, but um, first things first, right? All right, let's get to it. Oops, my bad. I forgot to uh, turn the camera on. But uh, I did our test print. Here's our test print for this one. It's actually a cable car. Powell and Hyde, San Francisco. It's pretty dope. It says DJ Burrs. Let's go ahead and uh, throw that in the, in the heater. Let that heat up a little bit. And uh, we'll take another look at it. We're going to be doing um, two passes of the white oops 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 all right let's check it out let's check it out this is actually the designer ernie uh looks good to me looks good looks good all right looks good let's go ahead and print show you guys um, a trick that I've learned um, the good thing about having lasers other than getting the point of where you want you know your, your design to be at um, since we're dealing with hoodies you know you got this pocket here so there are times that I printed over the pocket accidentally right because I didn't have it set up correctly so what I've done is I got one of the lasers to shoot at the bottom and that tells me that shows me that the design will be roughly around here. So this line just represents the, the bottom of the artwork, the design, and that tells me that, that when this hoodie goes down here, I know that um, the pocket needs to be below this line. That makes sense? So I know that, okay, this is my work area, my print area, anything over it, especially down here in the pocket, it's gonna get printed. So. That's why I have this this line here, just just a rep representation, so I know <laughs> that I gotta either move the shirt or the hoodie lower, right? So hopefully that makes sense. All right, let me show you guys. So for instance, here's the hoodie. I know that my artwork's gonna be laid in this area here between the two lines. Now, see where the pocket is? It's right below this, meaning that it will the design will not print on the pocket. So, that's just a representation. And it's easier for me to see, because um, like I said, if you're like me, I've printed on these uh, pockets of the hoodies several times. So I learned that trick from somebody, I think. I forgot who it was, but yeah, works.
All right, I'm trying to get hot in here, but uh, now we gotta do the, this logo. What we did is uh, we flipped the screen around, so you guys can see. We're only doing maybe like two or three of these, so uh, it's not a big deal. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, load up, load this up. See, I did use the heat press to uh, give it that final touch. Uh, quick tip for you guys, um, if you are going to do, do it that way, make sure you guys stack it. So for instance, you print, you heat press it, put it on one, you go to the next one, put it on the other one, and then you stack it this way. Um, I found that um, it needs to cool down a little bit because once you start stacking stuff on top of each other, it's going to get sticky and there are times that you can ruin the print. Oh yeah, so stack it, give it a chance to cool down before you put the other one on top. So if you guys are wondering, I'm just heat pressing it at 300 degrees, well maybe like 298 maybe, only like 10, 12 seconds. That's it, that's all you need. All right, now what we gotta do now is um, go to Shopify, on my Shopify website, and then um, print the shipping labels, package them up and get them out of here. All right guys, that is it. Um, this is what we got going on here. I got everything all labeled and ready to be sent out all the labels are falling off the table there but um that's it so i gotta get this thing packaged and hopefully shipped out today i'm running out of time so i gotta go um hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video like and subscribe if you haven't done so and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out